So, welcome to my table. Again. Uh, first I have say to say I forget to write down this date and this one here. So, I do this and but the days are still the same. You can see this big inlet 75 days and this one here is 75 days too. Now I put in the new kill at uh, 1053. These are 207 days later and I uh, the divisor is 4 And then I'm still at the respawn rate range from uh, 69 days. So this fits too. And there's just now one moose left that I can go uh, and check. This is the bleak inlet, the first one at the container. The last kill was on day 701. So this here. And then I have, because it uh, it shows not up and there are many days gone, so I take the middle of these two days. We are on date uh, 1053, minus 777, the middle of these booth uh, numbers. That is something around 276 days. And if he spawns, then we are on day 69. So he can spawn. I don't know if we do this and uh, how many days we need to wait, but it is possible that he comes up. And this is the last one I can check. So my next goal is then Bleak Inlet. But um, my table still uh, works. The new moose kill prove it. It's uh, on day 69. So you have a range. And I think maybe if you see the numbers here, 75 is uh, the middle. And then plus minus nine days. So he is up for three days and then he despawns. I don't know how, how this goes then. But yes, these two numbers, the middle is 75. And it fits so many times. So maybe this is the golden number. 75. We can check this. Ah, I don't know. When is the next? Okay, we can check this. Let's see. I take my uh, my calculator on my second screen. I make this now. Yeah, so I make now I make now seventy five days uh, from this one here, and then the moose is clearly up on day one thousand seventy six. But I'm not sure if this is right or not. I just uh, yes, I just can try this out. So. But now we are going to click inlet and if I kill a moose there, we fill him up in this table and I'm pretty sure all the next moose kills fits in this table. So thank you for watching and see you on the next moose hunt then.